Establishing a good recall, aka getting your dog to come when called, is arguably the number one most important skill to teach your pet. Today we're talking about why nailing down a strong recall is so important, and we'll take you through a step-by-step -step plan to optimize your dog's recall so it's solid. Why is recall so important? Reason number one, safety. The first reason why establishing a firm recall is important is due to safety. While your dog will likely spend the majority of his time in his yard or on a leash, if your dog does unexpectedly get out or escape, a well-proofed recall could save your dog's life and stop him from dashing into a busy road. Reason number two, it opens up a lot of opportunities for your dog. Nailing down a good recall allows you to safely walk your dog off leash in designated off leash areas where it is appropriate. Off leash dogs have a lot of freedom to sniff and to explore to their heart's content. Sniffing is immensely rewarding for dogs and is a great source of enrichment. Many dogs adore off-leash time as it really allows them to just be a dog and enjoy themselves. Reason number three, it's the responsible thing to do. Many people love to let their dogs off-leash due to the great opportunities for freedom and enrichment that it provides. However, you absolutely can not let your dog off-leash without approved recall. It's irresponsible, dangerous, and unfair to others. For one, not all people are crazy about dogs and may not feel comfortable or safe with an off-leash dog running up to them. Untrained off-leash dogs are also the bane of existence for any owner with a reactive dog. As a reactive dog owner myself, there have been many times where I've been walking my dog on leash around a neighborhood only to have an off-leash dog run up to us. Many of us with reactive dogs work very, very hard to keep our dogs safe and below threshold. When an off-leash dog runs up to our reactive dogs, it causes our dog to go over threshold and turns them into a lunging, barking mess. Not only can this be traumatizing to the off-leash dog, but it also can be a major step back for the reactive dogs who have been working so hard with their owners to feel safe and calm around strange dogs. So if you want to be able to let your dog off-leash, a bomb-proof recall is an absolute must. How to establish a strong recall. Now we're gonna build up a great recall with your dogs so that when you ask them to come, Let me come, they'll drop everything and come running. Good boy! Yes, good boy! But before we get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Canon of Mine on YouTube so that you won't miss our other epic dog training videos. Okay, let's jump into it. So how do we get that amazing recall? The secret to a strong recall is to make sure your dog learns that coming when called is always worth it. That means set yourself up with some really high value treats. Step one, choose your recall reward. A lot of training involves high value treats, but since you're trying to make your recall completely bomb proof, I'd suggest really going all out with your recall rewards. We're talking rotisserie chicken, freeze dried meat, steak, hamburger meat, the super good stuff. This ultra special reward will only be dispensed for a recall, not for any other training work. Step number two, choose a recall word. Your recall word or command should be a novel term that you don't use every day in common conversation. Come is a classic, but I'd suggest modifying it to make it a bit more unique. I'll often say to Remy, come here. Remy, come here. But it's more a request, not a designated recall ah, command. I'll ask Remy to come over to me for a pet or to show him something, but that's not our recall word. Our recall word is, Remy, come, with very specific intonation. Dogs pay a lot of attention to intonation, so be consistent with the tone and pitch of your command cue, and try to make it special and different than how you'd normally talk to your dog, if you're a weirdo and talk to your dog a lot like I do. Welcome home, my lord. The castle has been waiting for you. Would you like the staff to get your usual meal ready? Week one, practice your recall indoors. To start out, practice using your recall indoors. Let me come. Use that recall word when you're in the same room as your dog and in a situation where your dog is relaxed yes, and not otherwise boy. occupied. Do whatever you need to get your dog's attention. Clap your hands, use an come excited on. voice. Oh, yeah. When your dog comes over, throw a puppy party with tons of praise, what pets, and your special what recall reward. Boy. Continue to practice your recall this way one to two times a day, all week. Week two, add small indoor challenges. Once your dog will reliably come to you, it's time to add some challenges. For week two, stick to indoors and don't try the recall outside yet. While indoors, you can add some challenges to the recall by 
calling your dog from a different room in the house. Remy, come. Good boy. Good boy. Calling your dog from a different floor of the house. Calling your dog while they're playing with a toy. Calling your dog while they're barking at something outside the window. At first, just try one of these challenges each day. If your dog is making progress, you can start mixing and matching. So for example, recalling your dog from a different room while they're barking at something outside. Remy, come. Good boy, yes, good boy. Oh, when your dog comes, boy. always yes, give yes. tons of praise as well as your special recall reward. Provide your dog with the reward, even if he takes a bit longer to come than you'd like. The message you're trying to instill is that it is oh, always good a good thing to come over to you. A lot of owners make this mistake where at the dog park, they'll call their dog over and over and over again. And when their dog finally comes over to them, the owner will be really frustrated and just clip the leash on their dog and leave. But really, even if you've called your dog a thousand times, obviously it's not ideal. But when your dog does come, you always want to reward them because you never want to make oh, coming up to you a negative experience. You also don't want your dog thinking that a recall means all the fun is over. A lot of times at places like a dog park, you might call your dog over and then immediately leash them up to leave. Instead, practice calling your dog over, rewarding him, and then giving him a release or free command to go back to playing, sniffing, or whatever he was doing before. A recall shouldn't always mean the end of fun times for your dog. Don't progress to week three until your dog will come when called, even with two challenges at once. Week three, experiment outside in familiar environments. Next, it's time to take your recall outdoors. Remember, outdoor environments are 10 times more stimulating to dogs than your boring old house. If your dog is struggling, take a step back and practice more indoors before taking things outside. To start out, work on your recall in familiar outdoor environments, like a fenced-in backyard or your driveway. Remy, come. Good boy. If you don't have a backyard, you can use a long leash and practice the recall in any outdoor area that your dog is familiar with, such as the street paths in front of your home or a nearby park that you visit regularly. Remy, come. Again, you'll want to spend at least a week at this stage. If your dog isn't having at least a 90% success rate, keep practicing this stage before moving on. A note about long leashes. Long leashes are, in my opinion, one of the most underutilized tools dog owners have at their disposal. Long leashes are extra long leashes that come in 20 feet, 50 feet, and even 100 foot lengths. They are extra lightweight, giving your dog the experience and sensation of being off leash while providing some basic protection. You'll absolutely want a long line when working on your dog's recall. We have some links to good options in this video description. Week four, practice recall outside. If you've been practicing your dog's recall in your backyard, now is the time to progress to practicing in less familiar environments. Grab your long leash and begin practicing your dog's recall in public parks or on walks. You can add some challenges by practicing in the vicinity of your dog's triggers or around things that usually distract your dog, such as near a skate park or a playground. You can also experiment with practicing the recall in new locations your dog has never visited before, which tends to be much more challenging for dogs due to all the new smells and stimulation. In addition to using the long leash, you can also practice your off-leash recall in isolated fenced-in areas, like an unoccupied dog park or a tennis court. The finish line, established off-leash recall. After all that practice, you're ready for the real deal. You should now be able to use your recall off-leash at forests, trails, and public parks. You can also now experiment recalling your dog at an occupied dog park. While being able to let a dog off-leash at the park or on a hike is the dream, some dogs might never get there. Or perhaps you'll always feel anxious about your dog being off-leash. That's totally fine. Even though Remy's recall is pretty good, I never let him off leash. We always use the long line. As a pity mix, he's held to a higher standard. Plus he's dog reactive and his over exuberance can really freak folks out. So we just stick to those awesome long lines and everybody wins. How to use your dog's recall off leash. As we wrap up, let's just cover a few essential rules for off leash adventuring. Put your money where your mouth is. If you do decide to start letting your dog off leash more, just remember that you should never let your dog wander off leash unless you're willing to bet $100 that 
that your dog will come when called. If you wouldn't bet 100 bucks on your dog's recall, then you're not ready for off-leash action. Off-leash manners. Every dog, even a reactive one, has the right to go on a nice walk in a public park or trail without being assaulted by an off-leash dog. If you're walking your dog off-leash and see another dog on-leash in the distance, call your dog to you and leash them. Walk your dog leashed past the other dog and then, when you're at an appropriate distance, you can let your dog off-leash once more. And remember, even if your dog can do a perfect recall and is fine off-leash, always follow the rules of where you're walking. If dogs are supposed to be on leash, always keep your dog on leash. We hope this video will help you all nail a great recall with your dog and in turn, open up some new freedoms and opportunities for them. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences working on your dog's recall in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.